My friend Ben and I are, for those of you taking notes, are fans of uh, wild and crazy, goofy stuff. And uh, one of the things we both like is old Abbott and Costello sketches. So we would like to sort of uh, give you our interpretation. Uh, I think it was, it was one that they did in a movie called, I think it was You're in the Navy Now or something to that effect. It was an old World War II thing. And we've kind of updated it. You've got to remember, I was a retired teacher. And, uh, and Ben is, is uh, what, eighth grader this year? Seventh. That's what I said, seventh grader this year. <laughs> you've got to be quick. You've got to be quick. And, uh, and, and apparently he's leaving me without, he, up here without a magic marker. But other than that, we're ready to, we're ready to go. And it's our takeoff on an old Abbott Costello sketch, so kind of bear with us. Here we go. I'm the teacher, by the way. The teacher's powers to start with. Oh, what's up? Uh, yeah, I just finished um, the uh, assignment last night. You know number four? Number four. Yeah, you know, 28 divided by 7. Sure, 28 divided by 7. You figured it out? <laughs> yeah, right here. It's yeah, I see, I see you're doing it. It looks kind of weird to me because that's so you got the answer then, right? 28 divided by 7 equals 4. 13. 14. Wait a second. 28 divided by 7 always equals 4. 13. No, no, Ben, you seem to be having some trouble with the basic concept here. See, so we're going to take 28 and when you divide that by 7, your answer will always equal Thirteen. Then there, somehow we're, we're, we're miscommunicating here, I, you know. But of course, I'm willing to give you a shot. I think you're a bright kid. You usually work pretty hard. You you've got to be able to usually, you know. Yeah. yeah we're, well, you know, I mean, I'm blissful and so forth. Anyway, if you can prove to me that 28 divided by seven really does equal 13, I'll probably give you extra credit. Oh, okay. So you know, I'm going to set you up. So it's okay. a division problem, right? Is it 20? Okay, 7 is your divisor. 28 is your dividend. Yes. Okay. okay. That was a word Dave Silverdale uses quite often, by the way. Okay, anyway. Uh, and, and, of course, I know that when you take 28 and divide by 7, it always equals 4. 13. Mm, we got some proof coming at us, I'm sure. Okay. 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 So 7 into 2. Yeah, you're going to start off 7 into 2, but, of course... Seven, no matter how much you shove it in, it will not fit into two. Seven won't fit into two. Okay. Okay, audience agree with that? Yeah. 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 What, do they, what do they know? They're here for a free show and they're thinking people watching basketball. Right? Anyway, so 28 will not fit into two. So what are you going to do with that two? I'm going to take it away. You're going to take the two yes, away? Yes, I'm going to take the two away. The two is going to be taken away. Okay, who wants to hold my two? What are you going to do with the two? Okay, I see mom wants to hold the two. I'll let I'll let you hold my two. Okay? Oh, how neat. He's we, holding the two. So the okay. two we're not worried about right now. Nope. The two is not part of the fact. 100% the two is gone. 100%. So yeah. how are we going to do that? Seven to eight. Well, seven divides into eight. Any fool, even old people like me, know seven fits into eight once. Once time. Once. One time. Okay, well, I understand that one. Now, what do you do next? The next step in, in division, of course, is to one multiply. One times seven. Okay, help me out on this one. I'm pretty sure one times seven is seven. 100%. What do we do next? Eight minus seven. Well, of course, that would be one. Uh, you're not convincing me yet. I don't see the answer to my. You see this? This is now. That's two again. What two is that? The two that we took away. What two was that? I understand. Where is that two? I let him hold. He's got the two. He's got the two. You're gonna get the two back? Yes, I am. Well, then you better go get it. Okay. <laughs> what Can I two two? I don't understand okay. what happens to this two. Okay. 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 The two was getting a little bit lonely, so we just decided to take it back here. We're gonna put it back there. Right there. So we put the two right there, right? Right. Now what do seven I do? Seven twenty-one. Well, that goes three, three times. Three times seven is twenty-eight. Seven twenty-eight. Thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you. I think let's get that extra I, I think I got finagle on this problem. This kid, there's no way this kid is being fair to me right now. This, <laughs> well, he's, he's, I don't understand. Is you get these you know kids what? with this new math? You know, the the, the old math. I'm going to make he's, him work a little bit on this. Works so well with work. Okay, young man. The one thing I do know as a teacher, because one of the things I always do is make kids check their work, because you know we take a course in teacher school on it. It's called uh, math checking one on one and math checking, checking one on one. Gotcha. And the way that, of course, that you check a division problem uh -huh. is by multiplying. So you're saying that if I take seven and multiply it times thirteen, that's actually going to equal twenty-eight. 
Yes. I think the kid is tripped out on stupid pills because this is <laughs> going yes. to happen. There's, the there's no way no. this is going to happen. Yeah, I have to prove that to you. Okay, where do we start on this one? Well, seven times three. Okay, that's 21. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. 21. Now, seven times one. Well, of course, that would be seven. Uh-huh. And now everybody knows we add them up, right? Pretty much. 21 plus 7, 28. Ah, uh, <laughs> I told you, I can't wait to get that. I, I, I still think there's no, a trick to this. this is not, not, no he's trick. not being fair to me. I, think I worked trick. very hard last night. <laughs> hours very hard on end. <laughs> I don't understand it. Nothing. Okay, son, I want to tell you one more thing. There's one more check. There's one more check. There's one more check. There's one more check. We're going to do one more check. Okay, okay another check. check. Can you do another check? Yes. Okay. Another way to do multiplication, of course, is repeated addition. So if I write 13 seven times, one, two, two three, four, <laughs> five, six, six. Don't forget dynamite. Dynamite. That's number seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add that up. Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty. Okay. 22? 22, 23, 4, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll. I, I got this down to a science. I don't think I'll ever <laughs> understand. These guys are math. math. And, and you're going to get your extra credit. Give work. them a hand. <laughs> Come on, let's get it. Well, what's a circus without an acrobatic act? So next, 